Hello and welcome back to Logical Reasoning Lecture Series. This tutorial is dedicated to discussing a new technique that you need to apply at times when the data given in the problem is disconnected and not very suited to continuing with just one simple logical flow. It's nothing new though. I would call it just an extension of the block substitution technique we discussed earlier and used in a few problems. So without confusing you any further, let's pick up this question first and try and understand how this thing works. This problem is about eight individuals who belong to eight different countries. These people are sitting at a circular table, all of them facing the center of the table. We have to figure out their seating arrangement and the countries that they belong to with the help of 13 statements given in the problem. Now you should read the problem carefully first, attempt the problem, pause the video and come back to the video once you are done with attempting the question. You can also download this question from our website. Let's proceed with solving the problem now. The first step would be to create a structure like this. This contains 8 boxes to accommodate 8 people. So we'll use the upper part of the box to put in the name of the person and the lower part to write his country. Let's move ahead and go to the statements now. Statement 11 says that Sid sits to the immediate right of Tony. So we can basically pick any two adjacent boxes here in the structure. So let's pick these two and put the names of Tony and Sid here. Now since all of them are facing the center of the table, you can clearly see that Sid is to the right of Tony. Let's look at statement 6 now. It says that only one person sits between Sid and the person from Holland. This is the position of Sid highlighted. It is obvious that the person from Holland would be sitting at a gap of one position from Sid. So these are the two possibilities. So let's write Holland here in both the boxes for the time being. Now let's look at statement 1. It says that Tony is not an immediate neighbor of the person from Holland. So it rules out this position and this becomes the correct position of the person from Holland. Now let's look at statement 4. It says that exactly two persons are sitting between Ohm and the person from Holland. This is the position of the person from Holland. So the possible positions of Ohm are these two, highlighted in yellow. But as we can see, one of them is already occupied by Tony. So now Ohm cannot occupy it. So this is ruled out. And this becomes the only possibility. The box highlighted in green. Our next statement, statement 13, is about Ohm only. It says that he is from Brazil. So let's put Brazil here in this box. Now let's call this structure that we have made configuration 1. We will leave this part for a while and move to a separate parallel configuration. This is a technique that we employ in case of problems in which there are two sets of data that are not very visibly or properly connected. So we make two partial arrangements and try to merge them later, as you will see in this problem. So let's go to configuration 2 and try and fill that up. So we start afresh. Look at statement 3 now. The person from France sits at the third position to the left of the person from Ireland. So we can basically pick any two boxes with a gap of two positions between them. So let's pick these two. Think of it as a parallel, separate, completely new setup. Forget configuration 1 for the moment. So let's put France and Ireland here. You can clearly see that the person from France is at the third position to the left of the person from Ireland. Let's look at statement 9 now. It says that Mac is at the second position to the right of the person from Ireland. This is the position of the person from Ireland. So let's put Mac to the second position to the right of this person. Now let's move to statement 12. It says that the person from France is sitting at the second place to the right of Rick. France is already there on the table. If the person from France 
is at the second place to the right of Rick, Rick should be at the second place to the left of the person from France. So this is France. Let's put Rick here. All right. So this is where we stop now. Now this is another configuration. We had made one first and this is the second one. Now both of them are correct. Both are concrete. Now the next step would be to merge these two in a manner that does not violate any condition. So let's bring back configuration one first. So now the two are in front of us. Now we cannot just put one over the other. There will be contradictions. There will be clashes. For example, if you just try and put config one over config two, Rick and Ohm would clash like this. They would fall in the same cell, which is not possible. So it's obvious that we'll have to rotate one of these two and try to mix them in a position where there is no contradiction or clash. So let's rotate config two here. Let's look at it now. Again, there is a clash between Mac and Ohm. They cannot occupy the same cell, obviously. Let's rotate it further. Now there is a clash between Rick and Tony. They are falling in the same cell. Not possible again. So let's rotate it again. Again a clash between Mac and Tony. So not possible. Let's rotate it further. Now a clash between Mac and Sid. So this is also not possible. Look at this now. There is no visible clash like in the previous cases. So let's try merging the two. Though this looks okay, but if we look at statement 8, it tells us that Tony is not from Ireland. But if you look here, Tony is shown to be from Ireland. It means that there is a problem here as well in this setup. So this is also not possible. So let's bring the setup back to its original position and rotate it further. Now this time it's a clash between France and Brazil. The two countries cannot occupy the same cell. So this is also not possible. Let's rotate it further and arrive at the last possibility now. If you realize this, this is the eighth possibility of configuration 2 that we are trying to merge with configuration 1. So if the question is correct, this has to work. And we can see that there is no obvious problem here. So let's merge the two. So this is the structure that we get. It looks fine. So basically after merging the two configurations, two partial configurations, we get this structure. So this is a concrete arrangement based on all the statements that we have seen so far. Means it does not violate any of the conditions. Let's proceed and look at statement 5 now. It says that Neo and Boon are sitting beside each other. So we need to look for two boxes, two adjacent cells in which Neo and Boon can be fitted. There is just one possibility in this circular structure. These two boxes. But since we don't know their nationalities yet, there are two possibilities. So let's keep it like that and look at statement 10 first. It says that Boon and Sid are not immediate neighbors. It means that Boon cannot be from Ireland since the person from Ireland is an immediate neighbor of Sid. So Neo has to be from Ireland and Boon from Holland. So let's place them like that. Look at this box now. This belongs to the person from France. And as we can see, this is the only box in which there is no name written. And the only person whose name is yet to appear on the table is Pete. So let's put Pete here. Let's move ahead and look at statement 2 now. It reads that only one person sits between the persons from Sweden and Holland. This is the position of the person from Holland. So the two possibilities for the person from Sweden are these, highlighted in yellow. So let's write Sweden here in both of them. Let's leave it like that and go to statement 8 first. It says that Tony is not from Ireland, Australia or Croatia. Now we can see that France, Brazil, Sweden and Holland have already been placed on the table. And since he is not from Ireland, Australia or Croatia, there is just one country left to which Tony can belong, Egypt.
the final country the eighth one so let's put egypt here now let's look at statement 7 it says that the person from australia sits to the immediate left of the person from sweden now if you look at the table there are two possibilities for sweden that we have listed both highlighted in yellow so let's for a moment assume that sid is the person from sweden if that's true this would be the position of the person from australia but we already know that this has been occupied by tony who belongs to egypt so that's not possible it means that sid cannot be the person from sweden which implies that rick has to be the person from sweden and now to the immediate left of rick is mac so mac should belong to australia so let's put australia here now let's look at this last box which belongs to sid there's just one country left now to be put on the table croatia so it's obvious now that sid belongs to croatia so let's put croatia here and with this we have completed this structure i hope you got it easily in the end you need to understand that we made two configurations here because this problem had two separate chunks of data that were not very well connected with each other we could have done it by making multiple cases as well but that would have made it slightly messy but you can probably try that out yourself that would be some learning for you and in the process you might add a trick or two to your repertoire in our next tutorial we will again discuss a seating arrangement problem but that would be around a rectangular table so keep working hard have lots of fun soak yourself in the joy of cracking logical reasoning puzzles see you soon goodbye